क्लास ट्वेल्व केमिस्ट्री यूनिट टू सॉल्यूशंस लेक्चर वन इन दिस लेक्चर वी सेल डिस्कस अबाउट नंबर वन सब्सटेंसेस व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ए सब्सटेंस नंबर टू मिक्सचर्स और व्हाट इज ए मिक्सचर नंबर थ्री solutions and number 4 types of solutions types of solutions here in the types of solutions we shall discuss only categorization based on the state whether it's a solid state or liquid state or gaseous state let us first of all discuss about substance what is the meaning of substance in chemistry in chemistry a substance or a pure substance means what k either it is an element either it is an element or a compound means substance is a common name for an element or a compound when we say a substance it can be an element or it can be compound and if we mix two or more than two elements or element and compound or compounds then that is a mixture of substances then we what we say two or more than two substances mixed together then what is formed formed is mixture that's a mixture if a given sample consists of two or more than two substances then that is a mixture here i show you an example this you can see this is and here this is common salt and this is boric acid these two substances when are mixed together then it becomes a mixture of substances how many substances in this two substances mixed together right similarly suppose we take nacl 
that is sodium chloride and another is what that is ferric chloride this is sodium chloride and here in this another watch glass it is you can see here this is colored compound this is ferric chloride if we mix both these together then it becomes a mixture i am mixing this ferric chloride is highly hygroscopic means it catches water present in the atmosphere so this is mixture you can see here this is mixture of ferric chloride and sodium chloride a mixture can be of two substances or more than two substances such a mixture depending upon the uniformity of the substances present in the mixture can be homogeneous or heterogeneous means these can be of two types one mixture can be a mixture can be homogeneous homo genus or it can be heterogeneous or us homo means same genus composition hetero means different genus means composition means when we mix two or more than two substances together the mixture formed may have same composition throughout or may not have same composition throughout if it's same composition then this is homogeneous and if it is different then it's heterogeneous now you have a look at here two salts have been mixed are these homogeneous or heterogeneous is this mixture homogeneous or heterogeneous this is heterogeneous why this is not homogeneous i will just tell you after my end of ferric chloride and nacl or this is mixture of ferric chloride and sodium chloride this is also heterogeneous then what is homogeneous mixtures let us see what is homogeneous mixture here i have taken table salt in this table salt i am mixing water and i shake it i add more water and i shake it i add more water and wait for some time i am taking you can see here that uh, salt has dissolved in this water 
sodium chloride has dissolved in this water and this is homogeneous mixture if we take the solution from anywhere the composition we shall find that is constant means the composition of water and NaCl is same throughout the medium here because water in larger quantity in such a mixture where composition is seen throughout that is called homogeneous mixture and this is a solution therefore solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more than two substances here what is in larger quantity it is water which is in larger quantity that is why water is called solvent homogeneous mixture is solution here in this lecture we shall discuss only binary solutions means binary solutions means what by means two means there are only two constituent substances how many substances only two which is in larger quantity that is called in a solution which is in larger quantity that is called solvent and which is in lesser quantity that is called solute this is in larger quantity and here in this lesson we shall learn or discuss only the binary solutions means in which only two substances are present in a solution which is present in larger quantity that is called solvent and which is in lesser quantity that is solute therefore in this water I dissolve salt salt is in lesser quantity that's why salt is solute this one and water is solvent and this is also homogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture mean when the composition is same throughout and the particles are mixed at the level of molecules or ions here it was mixture of sodium chloride and iron chloride or ferric chloride I mix these here in this beaker and on this gets mixed and forms a solution this solution has three components one that is ferric chloride another that is sodium chloride and third is water which is in largest quantity therefore here water is the solvent and solutes are two substances ferric chloride and sodium chloride in this lesson we shall not consider such uh, solutions we shall consider only the binary solutions here i show you another example here this is sodium chloride and i mix this water in it and I mix it I try to mix it as much as possible 
I just keep forsaking it for some time. Let us leave it for some time and we discuss some other points. Therefore, we have discussed number one substances or a substance. What is a substance? Number two, we discussed what is a mixture and types of mixture. Number three, we discussed what is solution and next we discuss types of solutions. Solutions are homogeneous mixtures. As the matter exists in three states, therefore solutions can also exist in three states. First that is gaseous state. or can be liquid or can be solids. Therefore a solution can be gas, gaseous state or can be liquid state or can be solid state. A gaseous mixture has solvent which is in gaseous state means solvent is always gaseous here in the liquid also solvent is liquid always and in solid also solvent is solid I will tell you about this a little bit later. First of all, let us discuss this. In gaseous solutions, solvent is a gas, always a gas. And then gas can be mixed with a gas. Means gas plus gas mixture. homogeneous mixture of gas and gas. Example is, say we take nitrogen and we mix it with oxygen. Then it's a, it's an example of gas-gas mixture or solution. Second, gas is the solvent plus we can take what? Liquid. An example is what? We can take chloroform and nitrogen. Means nitrogen is solvent and chloroform. Chloroform is what? That is liquid solute. And Third can be gas plus solid. Example is what? Nitrogen plus camphor. When solution is gaseous state, in that solution, solvent is gas and solute can be a gas, liquid or solid. And these are the examples of these. Next, if solution is in liquid state or in liquid, then also the same Composition can be there, means when it is in liquid state, 
then it can be solvent is liquid and solute can be gas for example in water we can dissolve oxygen water and oxygen mixture that's a solution of liquid and gas and its state is liquid second solvent c plus liquid liquid plus liquid solute is liquid example is water plus ethanol water plus ethanol and third can be liquid plus solid example is just i sort that to you or we can write another one that is sugar plus water right liquid solution can have a being gas liquid or solid as solute what about the solid solution again in all these solvent is what solvent is solid and solute can be gas or liquid of solid example of this solid palladium you know platinum palladium the nickel group the first one that is nickel second platinum third platinum palladium when heated in hydrogen it absorbs hydrogen and a solid solution of hydrogen and palladium is formed second solid and liquid solid we can take any metal c b c c b c c we take sodium and mercury is liquid then sodium amalgam is formed which is solid in state that is a solid state here solid solid solution we can mix two metals for example we can mix c copper and any other metal we can mix c zinc remember that these solid solid solutions are formed by melting these means these are in molten state then they, those are mixed and solidified to make them homogeneous so these are the types of solutions categorized on the basis of their state now i come to this we dissolve that here you can see that salt is present down in the bottom you can see here and some salt has dissolved in the water if i take i 
take the water out from here. You can see that salt is deposited here. This solution in which no further solute can be added. Such a solution is called saturated solution. This is called saturated solution. We cannot further add solute in this which can be dissolved. It will settle down at the bottom. This is saturated solution of sodium chloride and the amount of solute, the maximum amount of the solute that can be added to a fixed quantity of solution that is called solubility. About that we will study later. So here in this term qualitatively we can express a solution as concentrated or dilute. I take concentrated solution and to the concentrated solution if more solvent is added then that becomes dilute. For example, we take concentrated HCl and if we add in that more water, then that is dilute hydrochloric acid. What is hydrochloric acid? Hydrochloric acid is the mixture of hydrogen chloride gas, that is HCl, hydrogen chloride gas plus water. When no further hydrogen chloride gas is added to certain amount of water, then that becomes a concentrated HCl acid. If we add more H2O water into it, then that becomes dilute. Here, this is concentrated solution of NaCl or saturated solution of NaCl. And if I add water into it, then this becomes dilute and one thing more here this is the upper part that is the solution and if we take whole then this is not homogeneous mixture you need to remember this that's it today's lecture we shall continue this chapter in next lecture, lecture number two. Till then, goodbye.